everything should be back now, okay? Let me know if it's not. If you can't hear me, can't see me, anything weird going on, uh, do let me know. So where do we get up to? We've got this guy. I might just charge down there and shoot the archer, but... Can I... Can I actually... No. And I can't do anything with this. So that's that's a move the to crown. there. And then cast that on Our there. Will fall. It's all working again? Good. I mean, it's a pretty quick turnaround. Um, and I've never had it ha happen twice in one day. So I'm hoping that's going to be it. But it's a little niggly issue that I need to try and get to the bottom of and figure out what's doing it. And there's nothing really giving me any signs uh, of what it is. So it's ultra annoying. You scum. There's more where that came from. Sir. Um. Um. My guy's dead. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that... Is that game over then? Ah, he can't have been anyone important. Uh, that one is, though, without a shadow of a doubt. So we need to... Oh, we do need to get in and hit him. See if I can kill him in one go. That was a nice hit. That's definitely going to help. Move to that. Who's the archer going to kill? Yeah, you can shoot the princes. I think there the princes can take the hit. Don't do it. Don't do this. What was going on there? Why did why did the AI guy not hit me? That doesn't make sense. Right, switch weapons. Shoot him. Smack. And move. Bring this guy in. Oh, can I see him from there? I cannot. Information. Over there. I'm ready. Get sir. in there. A wise decision, sire. For the crown. Just gotta run down this one archer now. Not relent. Take me to the enemy. Uh if I move As there, can I see him? Not quite. That is super annoying. From there? No, I think that's yeah, that's all my action points it's moved up. By your command. This guy can't move as far. Moving out. Right, I can see him now. Oh, so now he decides to hop off up there, does he? Oh, the true heirs. Right, you the go there. Strikes. You're choking. How many attacks does he have? How many moves does he have? I am ready. Can no one see him? Oh, is this going to be one of these stupid situations where no one can see him? Oh, no, it's okay. Got line of sight. I'll just dodge back in. He won't be able to see me. Ha. I can't see him. I can't see him from the air. That yet this guy could. Why not? What the hell? Okay, well, I'll get in. Sire. Make sure this asshole can't shoot me back. Meanwhile, I'll chase him up the steps. He can't hit me from there, so he can get screwed. Was I wrong? Oh no. This is where they're right, okay, this is this is maybe where the game craps up. Can I see him? I can't I don't seem to be able to target things on a higher level. Do I just have to get out of the Is that like an exit zone or something? On your command. Right, no one can see see me up there. Let's go over there. A dawn is coming. A human dawn. This pain in the ass is, is hacking my people down. Do I go up after him? The Talon strikes. So I bounce up there and I can hit him. Smack. <laughs> Not very well though. Uh, let's follow him up. I can't follow him up. As you wish. Ha! Kill me and did many he, more. Did he just heal himself? It will be Right, and now I can see him. You stay there. You shoot him as... I can't see him from there. A wise decision, sir. Finally. So unfortunately, Arcus Harless is dead. Okay, we'll go with that. I'm not loading the game back in to try and, try and survive that. It's 
interest. Oh, okay. What do we need to keep? Steel heavy armor of minor vigor. There's like massive penalties on this stuff. Steel short sword of minor. Oh, we want the magic stuff. Okay, these these are nice. Superior leather light armor. Um, I'll take that. Superior steel battle axe. Superior steel shield. Iron oak longbow. Nice. It's got stats on, as in like it's worse or it's reducing uh, compared to what I've got, but I don't know which character it's referring to or which it's comparing to. Steel Great Axe of Minor Ice. I feel like I should keep this stuff. Steel Maul of Minor Crippling. Maybe not. Sell. Okay, Pedro, thanks for stopping by. Maybe catch you next time. Yeah, I'm back to, back to The Witcher 3 tomorrow. Who was that non from the north? Kill me and many more will take my place. Just typical Northman, I think you'll find. <laughs> Silas, you died well, old friend. I'm sorry, you trained him well, Quinties. He made a valiant stand. You must be proud. I say the nice things. Perhaps not well enough. I only hope to do better with you both. Come, the road is still long. So this might be uh, a little bit tougher from here on in. So where are we? We're there. Um, I've got characters to upgrade. I'd better spend these points. And also, did we have any better stuff? So the archers definitely want... That's a 210 to 240 damage bow. Whereas that does nowhere near as much. Oh, this is better. Yeah, so let's drag that on. Can we just... How do we sell this? Sort by price, sort by name. Do I have to go to a shop to sell things? Or is it once it's in here, it's forever in here? I wonder if I should be... I'll tell you what I should be doing. I should be swapping those out with just some regular stuff. Because my tank... This guy doesn't get into a fight. Um, and this guy most certainly does. And what's that? A dual wield short sword of minor weakened. We've got a nice armor, steel medium armor. Oh, it, it does have. Oh, I does have the penalties on. Okay, I see. And this is leather light armor. Has a considerable amount of penalties. Okay, let's take a look at. Oh, points here. Endurance, uh, we want strength. Tick. We've only got one tank now. Go for dexterity. We're going to get dexterity up to 10 if we can. The bowman. Keep going. Nice. And we need to look at weapon tree stuff. Wow, that's a lot of short bow points to spend. Uh, so we'll have that. We're going to go with the hunter stuff. Quiet Hunter's Diligence causes attacks to apply agility damage. And he's only got two points left. So let's put them in proficiency for... Does that do anything? We'll go with that. Longsword. Um, this is his secondary stuff, I guess. Defender training. Armsman's Ward increases hit point damage and accuracy to cost to armor class. Well, he's not a tank character. So go on, we'll go with that. And we can't go into there just yet. I need seven points to get in there. Do I save them? I'll save them because... Yeah, that's fine. We'll save those. Let's, oh, let's, let's, no, let's do all the weapon stuff, then we'll go on to um, general abilities next. So short bow. He got that, he got that. Can we go one more? He's only got four left. Causes attacks to apply days at the cost of accuracy. I don't like this, this cost of accuracy business. Increases initiative, hit point damage, and critical hit chance. That's what we want. I'm going to save it for that. Make him a really dangerous archer. And my magic ability. Adept's training increases spell range. Increases spell crit chance. Increases agility and dexterity. Increases armor class. Well, I... I won't say no to those. 
just for a bit of extra defensive bonus. Quite like that. Save my points and see if we can get the rest as well. And then general abilities. Oh, hang on. Let's do this, this fella first. Weapon abilities. Yeah, he's got... Oh, he's got a bit in longbow, even though he didn't actually use any of it. Um, let's, let's go down this road. Barbed arrowheads. Now, long sword is, is quite important. Why can't I do that? Oh, I, I haven't got defender training. Okay, I have now. Increases accuracy, dodge, and cover bonus. I've got to keep my tank alive as long as possible now. And that just increases critical damage, which is quite a lot, but I want to save up for those. General ability. We've got two points. We want defensive combat discipline. Increases accuracy while using a shield. Increases hold while using a shield. What is hold? Anyone know what hold is? I haven't seen that. You think they made this too difficult? The skill setup was a bit obtuse. It looks like there's a lot to go through. It does look like there's a lot to go through. I'm going to go with accuracy while using a shield because that does sound like a really good idea. And can I get defensive in increases initiative while using a shield? So initiative is probably a good thing to have. Especially for a tank. Uh, this dude, what have we got? Two points. Mobility, evasive drills, increases dodge. Pathfinding, increases mobility. Is that extra movement? Increases jump. Increases dodge. Keep people alive as long as possible. And this fella. Oh, I'm just looking. I'm forgetting that I can click out of these. Never mind. I can reset them at any time. Uh, I don't want him in shield training. I want him in... Let's go mobility. You can have this as well. Extra dodge is always good. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of different trees <laughs> to look through. Right, I think we've got all that done. We're going to go to the next. Yeah, we're going to take this road. So let's let's march on. The dagger and bleeding heart, Lord Kessa Orlis of Orleton, has earned himself the moniker of Orlis the Kind over the years, and is much loved by the human population in his region. Given his tender-hearted tendencies, Paldir notes the possibility of Lord Orlis being complicit in the human rebellion. The notion of a Neshelin Lord aiding in the extermination of his own kind is preposterous, and all this must be confronted and dealt with. Let's try it out. Hey, Bishops, how are you doing? You heard a tank? <laughs> Brings back memories. Yeah, not that type of tank, unfortunately. Hold for a moment. I sense movement nearby. What is it, Quinties? Looks like a rebel patrol just up the road. We can try to circumvent them by going off the roads for a bit, but we may run into the local wildlife in the woods. I'm not keen in building the wilderness. I say we take our chances with the rebels and risk an encounter with any flea-ridden animal living out there. Thoughts, Prince Tavius? Well, we can't loot equipment and weapons off the animals, so I suggest we fight the rebels. Better odds going up against the humans than the wild beasts. That's the spirit. Come, let's teach those maggots the price of treason. Yeah, the combat, I mean, there's, there are, I, there's no exact difficulty options at the beginning of the game, but you can modify your character stats and stuff, uh, which can kind of make it easier or harder if you wanted. Peasants, scoundrels, dredges of society, hear me. This is not the best way to start a rousing speech. I am Prince Liven, uh, Liven Kanishan, Kernik, oh, bloody names. I am Prince LC, son of King AC, heir to the throne of Atiras. And harbinger of vengeance upon these dusty roads. Stand tall and proud. Your death comes at the hands of royalty. Whatever you do, please do not run. I, You what now? I think this one's mad he is. Prince Liven, I strongly urge that you refrain from any more of these grandiose introductions. I don't think it has the effect you're looking for. This guy's a complete idiot. Ah, to hell with it. On me, this is for father. What is your command? Who are we up against? Uh, so what, we've got three guys down there? No, there's four in total. Oh, no, not necessarily. It's me. Me, rebel. Me, me. Rebel, 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 rebel. Me, me. Where are these guys? Are these... Oh, it does show me. Oh, okay, it does show me who they are. 
and there's no one lurking out in the woods somewhere. Okay. I have to watch out for that, that dude down there. Do I pull back and let them come at me? I think that's a plan. Go on, let's go for the pull back maneuver. <laughs> that withdraw rapidly. There's no way you can see me from there. No way. No way. Okay. We, yeah, we're just going to pull back. Gonna form a line As you command. <laughs> over here. As you wish. That'll do. What would you have me do? Is this this is Prince Tavius? I think this is the important one, but I have to keep them all alive. So. By your command. Let them come on, and we'll shoot them with arrows. This combat system reminds you a bit of you. Divinity: Drop Original back. Sin. That's on my list of games to play. I've never played it. This world does not belong to is you. it good? I mean, I've heard that people think it's good, but. Okay, we better get the tank in front. You are the shield guy. Defensive stance increases accuracy, dodge, and cover bonus. I don't think I need to click it, do I? Our enemies will fall. Oh, God. Is he actually too far to... Yeah, I can't shoot these guys from here. My range isn't good enough. Tactically sound. Hunter's diligence. Do that. Awaiting your you orders. can, surely. Twang. Ah. <laughs> Go on, I, I shall... Take up position over here. To the death. Oh, missed me. I'd like it if the models res um, actually looked like they had the armor on that I'd I equipped them with. I prefer that. I, I think. To teach you a lesson. Go on, then teach me a lesson, you vile varmint. Do I step forward to face them? I do want to be between me and the two archers, though. So, and click that. Oh, that's a movement point. That's a movement point to activate that. That's fine. We're on the right side of history. Oof. Awaiting your order. I think it's the archer that I want I to it. kill because they are annoying me. Let's all hit, please. Damn it. Pass. Yours to command. Can you hit from there? I can't hit from there. What is the range on this? Range 2 to 20. Well, how far is... 2 to 20 what? Yards? So how far is... I can hit that one. I'd have to move up. I'll move up. because it's That's no... I can hit from there. That's a nice hit if it works. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> um, oh, I should have probably have triggered that before. A lesson, you'll take Romanian Grabber. Don't think that was the lesson they had in mind. But who knows. Activate. Do I, have to, decision, do I have to activate that every time? Ooh, nasty. I need to get rid of the archer. The archer's a pain in the ass. He's coming in. Does he just straight we past me? Oh, oh, God, that's not good. We've got lights flickering in here. Um, it is stormy outside. It's not... Oh, these are really... If, if I go off this time, it's not the, the capture card, okay? It's the power's disappeared. When I say stormy outside, it's been wet, uh, very wet further north and quite windy further north. It's not been too bad with me. But uh, I don't like flickering lights. Right, who have we got? We've got an archer. Oh, we've, got to, we've got to kill the archer off. 96%. Dunk. Missed! Prince Tavius, you are letting us down, sir. As you wish. Dodge to one side. On your command. Still me. You better hit. Good. Right. And then dodge back. Movement to there. That's that's good. That's good. I think I'm fine there. Sir. Hit him, Fred. Hit him. Hit him first. Ooh, that's nice. Switching swords and shields out, I think, has really helped Fred quite a bit. Oh, I was going to check to see if I could rename them, wasn't I? Divinity Original Sin is like um, it's like this combat system, but done better. I think this is just by a small developer. I'd have to see who it actually is. Because I can't remember off the top of my head. It's but it's, it's similar to Divinity Original Sin and the character's turns and all, eh? Oh, I took a little bit of damage. Now we need to get these guys. Could an archer finish him off? 
I, th I think so. I'm going to risk the archer because this is too big a hit to waste. Look. I mean, that's that's a massive smack. And then... As you wish. Defensive stance. Me next. Can we get him? 98% chance. Crit for 175. Nice. Okay, move over here so we can shoot the other guy. Prince. This is Prince Tavius, who's so far messed everything up. <laughs> uh, 61%. Oh, it must be the shield. It must be the shield. It's giving him a low chance to hit. Uh, we'll go for that one then. And we're done. I'll, I'll look at that next combat We're turn. Coming for you. Miss. I like that guy a lot more now. I've got him equipped as a tank. The so he's got 100% chance to hit versus 100% chance to hit. Okay, so it can't be the shield then. Uh, let's go for that one. And some agility damage. Nice. We are yours to come out. 64% chance. Is it because I'm... Is it because I'm... Let's just get... Is it because this dude's in the way? It makes no difference. It. I can't see what's lowering his hit chance from this target to this target. It's not a line of sight thing because this guy would be in the way of potentially either. It's not the shield thing that I thought because he didn't have any penalty to hit him. Mystery. Oh, we've got that guy down anyway, so that's good. Until I await. Can I hit him from there? Let's move in and smack. Oh, we've got him. Nice. What have we got then? A superior rosewood longbow? Yeah, I think I want that. Steel heavy armor of minor warding. Superior steel longsword, I'll take. Steel shield of mine ice gives bonus stats, both offense and defense. Initiative. Take that one. Steel heavy armor of shite and lots of other stuff. Steel great axe of minor force. Knockback plus one. Don't want those just at the moment, so we'll just take those for now. You believe it's a shield? Just that the other guy is high enough accuracy to negate it? That's like, it must be his, his, I mean, does he have the, I think he has the better bow, so it might be that. We'll have a look. Typical XCOM feels 99% chance to hit at point blank and misses. <laughs> Okay, so we're on day 48, week 7. By the mothers, I'm relieved to see the heirs alive and safe. We feared the worst when we received the news of the capital's fall. Welcome to Orleton, my princes. Please rest, you're safe here. Thank you, Lord Orlis. We are rather relieved to see you alive as well, and surprised at how peaceful this town is. Peaceful nature of this region does beg the question, where exactly do your loyalties lie? That's a good point. Perhaps we can dispense with the pleasantries at this moment and deal with a delicate matter. Your reputation as a champion to the plight of your human followers has, well, it has called into question your loyalty to your own kind. Is this an ambush? Ah, you are a perceptive one, young prince. Yes, I will concede that my love of service to the denizens of my land may seem peculiar, but it has afforded me opportunities that many of my peers have simply discarded. Such as? Loyalty, love, devotion, and an early warning system of sorts. The piece you see here is the one through a network of human peasants is it must mean is one through a network of human peasants who willingly choose to protect me from their own kin some even taking up arms in my service the compassionate ruler lives in the hearts of men and in the hearts and in their hearts we seek devotion love and everlasting fealty i see you remember well the words of your king high commander quintes you understand don't you as the highest ranking human in service to the neshelon Yes, of course, my lord. There are many of us among the human population who loved King Canetian, just as those here love you. Please forgive our cynicism. I don't follow. Prince Livan, Prince Tavius, as you step into the void left behind by your father, you'll see that a ruler cannot lead solely through fear. Love is a much greater motivation than fear, and striking the balance between the two will forever be the challenge of leadership. My lord Orlis, your highnesses, if I may interrupt, Small rebel band is approaching. As planned, one of the lads is leading them to the tavern. Ah, excellent. Thank you, Matthias. Join the rest of the men and take up your position. Now, my princes, if you would care to join me for a demonstration of my loyalty, we should depart for uh, Genevan at once. We cannot afford another fight with the rebels. Back away slowly. We are leaving. We'll have no part in your dealings with the rebels. I think I understand. You're a shrewd man, Lord Orlis. We will follow. Let's hope this isn't a trap. 
It's normally quiet in places here. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Let's see. I this this could work well, or this could be a backstabbing bar steward, and he catches us out. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Lord Orlis the Kind himself. Welcome, strangers. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Ah, I don't mind if we do. Three pints of ale, please, and we'll have your head too while we're at it. Ah. With pleasure. Close the doors, Matthias. Or is that a code word? Let's get on with it. Come that on. wasn't a code word, was it? <laughs> All right. Okay. Who are we up against here? We've got some allies on our side. Lord Orlus. Who the hell is this? A loyalist soldier. Okay. Loyalists and rebels. A moral rebel battler. An eager rebel defender. An untrained rebel hellion. What the hell is a hellion? Okay, so if I am right in thinking, if we stand behind all these chairs, we're good to go. I command the Quinties take up position. Uh, over the... Can I get... Actually, I'll go to... That's a double move. Let's go to there and switch the rosewood long... Oh, I didn't switch weapons. Never mind. Is it too far to shoot? I think it is. We're going to stand behind... This camera's awful in this position. Um, go on, we're going to move into there. What do my allies do? Are they going to rush in like noobs? Wait, hang on. Alert. All units not in the fallback position will be lost. Oh, you can retreat from battle. And this is the fallback position. Okay, that's good to know. Shoot him! Too far. Uh, I think I should probably just move forward, actually. Unless this guy's got the range. This guy's got the range. Miss. Awesome. I wonder if range affects accuracy. Let's find out. See what Lord Orlis does. In fact, these guys can tag. These guys can die. Because unless they're going to join us, then um, <laughs> we can loot their stuff. Uh, wait, are you telling me that that's a double move to get to there? I don't believe it. For the king. Shoot! <laughs> Smack. Oh, oh no. I was going to say, the downside of this is that it'll get points in Longbow, but you'll get points in longbow anyway just because he's got it equipped so that is not a problem can you shoot from there what the hell is the range on this thing right I've got to get myself something Our with more range on smack nice move Pretty next Tactically sound. right that's a, that's two moves gone and then 64% versus 53%. So maybe range does make a bit of difference versus 9%. Yeah, range clearly makes a difference. Okay. Ah, that might be the difference. That might be the, why, because one of these guys, yeah, he's got a long bow and he's got a short bow, which only has half the range. Therefore, the accuracy at the further end of its range is going to be less. I bet that's it. The Talon strikes! And this guy's also got a uh, Rosewood Longbow. Now, he's not as good with these things, but... Um, that's 55%, and that's 69%. <laughs> All right. Forget it. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me just move in, into position. That's fine. I can still shoot from there. I don't think that makes any difference. I'll shoot him in the back. Hellion Shriek. Nice having two tanks up front. Is that... That's going to be... Right, so I'm on that guy there. Our enemies will tactically Move sound. up. And then that's uh, 64% versus 88. Let's shoot the guy at the back. Ready. It's fine by me. 
You can just get into some As cover. That would be a good move. 64, 65. So the range, whatever's, whatever's affecting it, this guy's easier to kill still. So. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, hi, Brit. Welcome back. How are you tonight? You see, we're playing something a little different tonight. I'll just turn that on, wish. my hunter's diligence. Oh, is this Lord Orlus? Is he a, a healer? I'd love to see what was going on behind there. Oh, I suppose I can zoom out a bit, actually. Is it back to me? It is, okay. Um, 55. It doesn't make a difference if I leap forward. 55. It doesn't, so I will shoot him anyway. 69. I, know, I might as well shoot them further off there. And still miss. Just... Can you break the chair over them? Ooch, that hurt. That What an appropriate name for asking that question. I would love if, if you could do that. Do you know what Do you know what sort of games really need? I guess you can maybe do this in the, the recent Hitman games. And in the Yakuza games as well. But they need something. Like you can get into an old Wild West saloon fight where it all kicks off and you can just pick up anything in the nearby area and just lay into people with it. Chairs, bottles, prostitutes, <laughs> anything. That would be fun. Let's see if we can finish 52, 69. No, see, the guy with the shield is clearly easier to hit than that guy with a shield, who is just as hard to hit as this guy who doesn't have a shield. It must be to do with their armor. It must be something to do with that. Range and armor, I'm going to assume. Anyway, I am. I'll get myself Moving into out. cover. Next. This guy doesn't have any or cover, but in the middle, he should be all right. Oh, did I move? Ah, did I do a double move there? I'm an idiot. Okay. Never mind. We are yours to command. 65, 65, 65. 64. Was that not quite enough to kill them? As you I should have put that on first. We're coming for you. It would be awesome. You can those sort of fights you can actually have in uh, the Yakuza games, which I do intend to play through on stream someday because they look awesome. Um, it's just they're just like beat 'em ups, and you can pick up traffic cones and bicycles and all sorts of stuff and bash people with them. It looks fun. Even, actually, it goes a bit too far. I saw Co Carnage playing it, and there was one fight where um, his character, he just grabbed a used syringe off the floor of a park and jabbed it into the leg of the guy he was fighting. And now that's taking things a bit far. <laughs> right, do your hunters, or you do your rangers initiative. A wise decision, Who can we hit? 17%? Only 17% chance to hit there, 34 that must have been right. That was a penalty to accuracy that I've just triggered as well. I should have. I won't do that next turn. And hits anyway. <laughs> Good old RNG, don't you love it? 